What's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about my Tacoma. So this truck is an 09. It's got about 140,000 miles on it. And I did wreck it last summer. So I think it has a rebuilt title. Um, full long travel setup. Really wanted to be able to like do whatever I want with the truck. So jump it, go camping, fishing, boating. Snowmobiling, snow wheeling, anything. Truck's super versatile. I think the only thing that the truck's really missing is a locker in the rear and then it'll be perfect. Okay, so we're on the interior of my truck. It does have blue lights on the inside because you know the Smurf Runner. Gotta have blue somewhere because uh, obviously the paint's not blue. Uh, I got some floor mats in here from WeatherTech. I got the double din set up so I can have my nav and radio and watch movies up here if I really wanted to. I've got my buttons, so that's for my dune whip. I've got my roof light bar, bumper light bars, and the rear lights, and then I got fog lights, which are just my rigid fog lights, and then traction control. And I put uh, blue LEDs in these. I really want to do the dash with the blue LEDs. Uh, blue LEDs in the ceiling, so yeah. Okay, so, okay, so for the front end setup, we got uh, headlights, like off Amazon. They have like that U-bar style in there and that projector. I really love the look at it, of it. And yeah, obviously it has, it's an 09 truck, but it has a full 2012 to 15 front end on it, which means hoods, grill, lights, and bumper. And then I got the TRD Pro bumper on there. I got a light bar behind the bumper with some custom mounts I made. Hit me up if you want those uh, mounts. Uh, 20 inch light bar in the bumper. I got my Smittybilt X20, uh, 10,000 pound winch with a synthetic cable in there. Uh, Pelfrey built hybrid front bumper. It is not aluminum steel, which means it's gonna rust whenever you chip the uh, powder coat. Which really sucks, because the last bumper I had from Pelfrey built before when my truck was an 09 front end, I had it uh, Linex and it never chipped. So I'll probably be in this thing line X because I just hate rust. So uh, next thing is we got Rigid Industries uh, pods, both sides. And these are the DOT approved pods so you can have them on the road. So I think that's about all for the front end. Oh yeah, we got the hood scoop on there, you know, that's nice and fake. Doesn't do anything, but it looks. The next thing so is our suspension which I'm gonna get a light to show you guys. Where is it? Okay, well, we're using impact for a light because it works. So, so we got uh, Total Chaos, uh, plus 3.5 race kit, got gusted spindles, gusted cam mounts. I'm gonna gusset the shock towers and get a uh, second shock in there most likely. Really love the setup in the front. You can hit anything and just be so smooth. Um, yeah, obviously you can't run fender liners, so that's a downfall to having long travel and fiberglass. I mean, you can do it with long travel, but you can't do it with fiberglass. And the big thing about Tacoma's is the air intake is right there, completely open to the elements, which is not good. I have hydrolocked this truck one time. The fenders, so these fenders are 05 to 15 Fiberworks fenders, and I got them painted when I got the truck rebuilt after the crash. I think they look really good. Just, I really like the line of this over the other fenders that are out there that slope down a little bit more. Just makes the truck look a lot more aggressive on the front end. And they're also six inch overs, not four inch, which gives it enough to almost be equal to the wheel. Okay, so here's what it looks like with fog lights, uh, running lights, and the corner of the markers. Really good, I love these. These are Rigid Industries DOT approved fogs. And I have a white or yellow covers on them. Take them off and make them white. Side on. What goes with the outfit that day, you know what I mean? Some days you want white, some days you want orange fogs. We got our stock rear bumper. We got some uh, Amazon reverse lights because the reverse lights in Tacoma's are really dim. I got LEDs in here for my. License plate, 
Towage package, these aftermarket off Tacoma Beast uh, taillights. They got the U bar in there, they're kind of like the 2016 style. I really like it. And yeah, that's about it for the rear end. Nothing special. I eventually do want to go to either a uh, pre owner style, like just tube across uh, the rear bumper, and then kind of like what the Raptor, the Shelby Raptor has in the back with the uh, two vertical mounted spares. Or go to a swing out rear bumper from Pelfrey Built, most likely, with the high clearance. But they've seen the high clearance done with fiberglass fenders, so I'm not sure if the lines at all match up right. So, in addition to those rear pods, we have a 30 inch light bar that has some condensation in it. I can't really trash talk the Amazon light bars because I've had these on the truck for like three or four years now, and they're just now starting to fail. And for $30 for a 30 inch light bar, compared to like $2,000 for some of the other brands, you can't really pass it up because you could buy a lot of light bars for two grand. Okay, so for the roof rack setup, we got the Prinsu Design Studio roof rack. I really like the raw aluminum look, it just looks so good to me. It does oxidize a little bit as you can see here, which doesn't take that much, take a Scotch right to it and it comes right off. So up top we got a Plano case. I think it's a 42 inch. And in the Plano case we got, it is a gun case, but I don't keep my gun up here because I just don't feel like that'd be that smart. And inside of it, we have all of our other gear. So we got toe strap, it's a 30 foot from Harbor Freight, it's only two inch wide. And this is a three inch wide uh, 35 foot from uh, Smittybilt. This I think is a 40,000 pound and that's a 20,000 pound. We got our snatch block, so that we're getting a really bad stuck and double the winching power. Some extra D rings, uh, winch controller because we have the wireless winch, random hooks for any cars that don't have uh, tow points so we need to improvise. And then your winch, your cable for your wireless thing in case you like run out of battery and you need it. So yeah. And then on the other side, we have our Amazon knockoff Max Tracks. I have used these, as you can see, the rubber marks on them, and they were great. I was surprised because I thought Max Tracks like, wouldn't do anything. I really honestly had them on there for the looks. And I went snow wheeling like a few weeks ago, and I finally used them, and I was impressed because they pulled me right out of the hole I was in. So for the rear over fenders, we have, or the rear bed sides, we have McNeil, I think they're four inch uh, bed sides. They look great. It was really hard to get this to fit. Um, Cause you gotta like, you can't use the stock latch to open it. And then this is also just open in here. There's no like little tray to protect it from the elements. That kind of sucks because if you go wheeling and get mud in there or anything like that, it's just disgusting to do your oil or your gas. And obviously you don't want to get any of that debris inside your gas tank because that would not go. So I do have a CB radio in this truck. Um, pretty, pretty standard setup. Just bed mount that is rusty and I need to paint. And then you come in the cab and it's hidden because I didn't want a big, janky looking radio on my cab or on my interior. So here's a little attachment. Then go in the compartment. Get out your CD radio. It's a Cobra. Uh, forget what model it is. It's a 75 WXST. Um, I got it off of Amazon, I think it was like a hundred bucks. Put the camera right there. So all you do, you just plug it in, and then turn it on, and you are good to go. Um, this is a great thing to have with your buddies if you're going off-roading. Uh, you never have to get out of the truck to go in like the snow to go talk to anyone to say like what trail you want to do. And say you're in the dunes and you can't find your friend, but you're probably near him. Just call him on the CB, and. You can figure out where he is. Or if you're stuck and you need his help. That's another great feature of it. Okay, so now we're in the truck bed. Uh, this 
is my Viair 450H air compressor. Um, I got like a 30 foot hose or something like that. Just coils up for it. I got the mount that I used is just a stock uh, bedside pocket and I just cut a hole in the top and was able to drill four holes for the bolts and it fit perfectly. And then I got my quick disconnect right there for the uh, air hose. Up there I got my air filter so you don't get any water or debris or anything inside the air compressor because then it'll like ruin the piston. And then yeah, I got this little uh, fancy fancy uh, hose end thing. So you just clip this onto your uh, valve and then you can walk away. You don't have to like hold it on there the whole time while you're uh, airing up. The compressor works great. I've had it for probably like four months now. Um, have any issues. So yeah, it's also really cheap. Good budget option for an air compressor. So the wheel and tire setup on the truck. I'm running Toyo Open Country MTs, or Toyo Open Country RTs. I had the MTs before that's in the same size. Um, I like the MTs a little bit better. They did have a little bit more road noise and these have worn a little bit worse, honestly. Um, I have KMC XD Attic in a 17 by nine, I think. And they look really good. I wish they had a better looking center plate, so I took the center cap off. Um, but that's the only downfall of the rims. And I also do wish they were actual bead locks, not uh, fake ones. So a few things about the truck. We got a uh, cab mount truck that I did, or cab mount chop I did, and we got a two-piece uh, Pelfrey built skid plate, so the front skid and mid skid. I think that's it for the truck. Uh, yeah.